Okay, lesson two on how to fix an old photo with GIMP. Um, you're probably going to notice that the middle of this, the black area I showed you in the first lesson, is not fixed. I did it out of order just to, because uh, I thought it would be easy to show how to use the clone tool with something easy like that black area that doesn't need shading. So today we're going to work on the face. So we're going to do the girl on the right hand side because her face is the least damage in the photo. So go over and click your magnify tool and drag around an area and select her head. You zoomed in, you can see her chin needs fixing. There's, you click the clone tool and looking at it, but the brush is too small and the area is too big, so we're going to zoom in again. Select magnifying glass and zoom in on her chin. Okay. Now click the clone tool. And the brush size is pretty good. And I'm using the same brush I did in the first picture, the first lesson. It has a hardness of 0, 050. Zero. Now select the area you want to copy and do hold down the control key and hold down the control key and click. And then go to the area you want to cover over and either just click it or drag it. Move it a little. Click again and drag along the edge of her face and let go. Now let's work over here. There's a line on the other side. Control click. Line your brush up. They can overlap a little. And drag to the edge of her face and stop. Now we're going to work on the line on her face and select the tone that you want to copy. Control click. Uh, control click again. I goofed something up there a minute ago. Don't pay any attention to it. So, control click to move your mouse over the damaged area. And drag down a little bit. I'm not doing individual clicks this time. Move a little and click. Now drag. Let go. Control click the area and then click on the part you want to cover up. And what you want to do is watch for the contours in the face and the way the shadows and lines and shading run. And line your brush up so that you're copying them at the same angles as the, uh, as the lines in the face flow. So I've selected the new area, control click. Now I'm just going to come down here and drag again. And that's basically all of it. Now, this was the first time I used this program to fix a photograph. And I, at this point, I hadn't um, figured out to use the opacity tool over there on the left. So I'm copying areas 100%. They're not see-through at all. So if I had adjusted the opacity, made it a little more see-through, I could have done better or easier blending of the tones. So 
But for this face, it wasn't too bad because all of the tones were. Um, there was nice. There was a nice area right next to the area that needed to be fixed. An area that needed to be fixed wasn't too big. So the shad the shading wasn't as important on this picture as it might be on another one. Okay, now we're working on the edge of the chin, and to really define the chin, you need to get this shadow underneath the chin here. So control and click, and then you can do individual clicks. You get a couple in a row there, and I'm moving it over just a little another click. And now you can see that her chin is outlined. Now there's a slightly lighter tone here. I'm going to control and click it. And I'm going to come over here and click again and click. They kind of match. Now I'm going to drag it down. And drag it down and you can see how the neck is blending. And I released it. And now I'm going to select another area kind of overlap them. Control that. Right there and just a quick click there. A couple and now that's blended. Now you can see there's a line right there where the shadows change. I'm going to go on it. And I'm going to drag down on this one. Just like this. I'll come back up and I don't like it. So Control Z will undo it. And I'm going to do it again. And there. And let it go. And that's the end of lesson two. Now let's go up and take a look at it. Go up and choose view, zoom, and fit to window. And you can see it's already looking a lot better. Well, I hope this is helping you. Uh, the lessons will get more detailed or complicated, however you want to look at it as they go on. I hope you like it. Uh, please comment, rate, or subscribe. And hope it works out for you. Good luck. Bye.